on the 5th of May of 1967. I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I had thought many, many times about trying to commit suicide. I lived in Bozeman, Montana. At that time, I wore no makeup. My hair was long and stringy. I was very miserable. I cried all the time. It was about 2.30 in the afternoon. There was a lady sitting on the bank of the water. I sat down next to her. And about that time, this little bird swam in front of me. And I said, what is that? It was an eared grebe. It gave me a reason to live and to go on with life. I went down the next morning and bought a bird book and a pair of binoculars and have never stopped using either one. Birding saved my life. I started meeting people. They sort of took me under their wing. I joined National Audubon at the time. My life has changed immensely in the, this 45 years of birding and meeting people from all over the world. There's your Easter oh, there's King the Easter bird. bird right there. So yeah. you've got Eastern and Western both. Yeah. Well, I guess the guy was right when he said they were they were bad. I didn't know what he was talking about. As you noticed, I do not have a computer. This is how I keep my records, folks. This is my life birds. There's for Texas. Uh, different states. This one is from the yard. I keep monthly lists. I've got all kinds of them from every, for every month. Here's May. And I sort of decorate the pages a little bit. And I use a checklist. And already this month I've seen 104 species in May. Just hit right here in Montana. So how about that? I guess my world is the bird watching. There goes a magpie. But see there again, I'm I'm a bird watcher. <laughs> There's probably a lot of reasons to get up in the morning, but to me, I love getting up and going out my door to see exactly what I can hear, say at five o'clock in the morning. And it's just, it just starts the day. I don't go to church, but I don't feel like I have to spend my time in there on Sunday. I think I'm out with nature, which is still part of God's work. The birding, it, it touches your heart. I was so depressed that I don't think I was thinking of all the things that I had that filled my life anyway because I was feeling sorry for myself. Well, all of a sudden, I went out and spotted this bird 45 years ago, and now I can't hardly wait to get up at four o'clock in the morning and get my day started. I don't want to miss anything. And then it's all thanks to one little bird. 
let's pull over. Oh, boy. We've got eared grebes right here. The bird that saved my life is right out there. It's my grebe. <laughs> Notice they're laying right here. If something would fly over, they go right up. And I look for the turkey vultures, so I can tell them they have to come back next year. I'm not dead yet. got two choices, you either live or you die. And I'd rather live and watch the sun come up every day. <laughs> <laughs>